Scientists in Portland, Oregon, have taken a step toward one day trying to protect not just one baby from an inherited disease, but eliminating the chance its descendants would get the disease as well. In a paper published in the journal Nature, researchers from Oregon Health and Science University and the Salk Institute in California announced a scientific first. They've successfully repaired a disease-causing gene mutation in human embryos. It's not ready to try in pregnancy, but this kind of gene editing could someday prevent children from inheriting a disease that runs in the family. Uh, so it's actually molecular scissors that uh, would allow you to um, direct the scissors into very specific site and specific gene. In this case, uh, we would direct it into mutant gene and induce cut in DNA. Previous attempts to edit human embryos to fight various diseases didn't work well and raised safety concerns. But this research team discovered how to make it work. They focused on an inherited heart disease called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a potentially fatal thickening of the heart muscle. Researchers used so-called molecular scissors to cut out the mutation in the sperm right before it fertilized the egg. The embryo then repaired the cut in the sperm's genetic material by copying the egg's healthy gene, leaving the embryo free of a genetic disease that would otherwise be passed down by the father. Discovering that the early stage embryo helps repair itself is a breakthrough in the field. So right after fertilization, we believe repair occurs. So by the time this embryo develops into a few cells, it's already all all DNA was repaired. It worked in about three quarters of the embryos. And more importantly, as the embryos grew, all the cells carried the same repaired DNA. Scientists stopped development after a few days when the embryos had about eight cells apiece. But gene editing is controversial. And some worry that changing genes at the embryonic level could lead to attempts to create designer babies down the road. Dr. Eric Topol, a geneticist at the Scripps Institute in La Jolla, California, says the research is exciting, but opens a Pandora's box of scientific and ethical questions. This is such a big deal to actually manipulate the genome of an embryo. We don't know what happens when that embryo grows into a baby or when that baby grows into an adult. So these are some big unknowns that it'll take years to understand, and we're not really ready for this to get launched. The, the ethics, the unknowns are really, um, really big questions. For now, focusing on advancing the science of DNA repair, one tiny cut at a time. Gillian Flaccus, Associated Press, Portland, Oregon.